Our last demo for today comes from Squid. It was founded on the simple belief that enterprise apps should stop forcing people to think like machines. Instead, these apps should behave more like the humans who use them so that everybody can thrive in this digital world. With Squid's simple to use but incredibly robust tools, anybody, even me, can build highly complex, bespoke enterprise apps. This is really cool stuff, and then this is actually a really neat stat. More than 5 million users in 32 countries use Squid to engage with one another, with data, and with new customers in meaningful ways, all without a single stinking line of code. That's cool stuff. So in order to see the cool stuff begin, I'm going to hand it over to Sam Alexander for our demo. Hey, guys. Can everyone see my screen? Yep. Perfect. All right, well, this is Sam with Squid, and as a lot of you may already know, especially based on that intro, Squid is a UX platform that allows you to build highly customized applications for Salesforce, standard or lightning, desktop or mobile, without having to write any code. And that means point, click, drag and drop. And today, I'm going to show you an awesome customer-facing site and two community portals that our customer, AXA, was able to build with Squid in just eight weeks. So bear in mind that everything you're about to see is Squid, pulling in data from Salesforce and then some other external sources as well. So AXA created Drive Again to serve their Swiss market as basically a lending tree for automobile maintenance. So the idea is that a customer can navigate to this great looking customer facing Salesforce site in their browser built with Squid and utilizing Salesforce data, select the kind of maintenance they'd like done from the menu here on the left, and then be led through an intuitive wizard to fill out all the necessary information for their maintenance request to be sent out to a list of AXA approved garages so those garages can bid on the work. So let's say I need tire work done. I'm prompted with a squid wizard component with four different steps, starting with the main issue that I'm trying to resolve. Then I can move on to some information about my car for the garage. Here, we in this field, we've actually tapped into Squid's native ability to declaratively connect to any REST or O data service. And in this case, we've integrated with a Google Maps API that allows us to pinpoint a particular address that we'd like to serve as the center of a radius that we'd like all the garages bidding on our work to fall within, so that regardless of who I select, we know that they're not going to be too far away, and I can easily collect my car once it's done being serviced. So we can add some additional services here. Here, continue on, add some contact information, and then we can send this out to the list of acts approved garages that falls within those parameters that we set. So once I hit continue, that's where those other two portals I mentioned come into play. So first we've got this garage portal where garages can log in to see their maintenance requests that fall within their jurisdiction and bid on those. And then we can then we have a customer facing portal where our customers can log in to view all of their inquiries that are still being processed. They can view bids from different garages as they come in so they can accept or reject those. And then you can view an overview of orders that are currently in progress. So we can see an overview of the services being performed, the vehicle that's being serviced, the cost agreed upon between me and my garage and when I should uh, uh, decide to go pick it up. And once the car is done being serviced, we'll receive a notification through this portal that it's time to go pick up my car as well as via email. So I know that's a very high level overview of this whole drive again community ecosystem that AXA created with Squid. And unfortunately, I don't really have time to point out each of the individual Squid components that served as the building blocks for each of these pages I showed, or our totally declarative Squid theme composer that was used to brand and style these pages. But that's certainly something we would love to uh, walk through with anyone in the audience who's interested in taking a, a deeper dive into this stuff with us in a demo. So thanks, guys. Awesome, Sam. Man, looking at that, that looks nothing like your standard Salesforce communities and portals and anything like that and the fact that you guys can create that without a line of code being able to design something that's really really compelling out there on brand with any of these companies that want to use it as well as I'd, I'd even heard before that squid you guys can bridge the gap between multiple Salesforce orgs so really tying all those gaps together where it doesn't matter how many orgs you guys, you, your company may live on, you can actually unify that data in interfaces like this for customers. So that is really good stuff. I like it, Sam. Amanda, what have we got for audience question? Sure. All right. Um, let's see here. Question. So a bunch of questions we have. Um, can you talk about Squid with Lightning? That's a little broad, but I'm sure he can. <laughs> 
Yeah, so Squid is the exact same Squid in either Standard, Salesforce, uh, Aloha, or Lightning. Uh, so the only thing that changes from Lightning to Standard is the URL. Awesome. All right. Well, I want to thank all of our contestants today for being part of this demo jam. You guys all did a great job. Mm -hmm.